Hello and welcome to Office Tutorials. In today's video, I'll show you how to build a contact us page on your WordPress website. For example, currently this is my website called selfstudyhelp.com. Normally, we do not build contact form 7 or contact forms on blog websites, but uh, this is just an example and I am collecting uh, students data on this website. That is why I need a uh, contact us form on this site. So, First of all, you will have to log into your dashboard. Let's open your WP admin slash WP admin and log into your website. I'm already logged in, so it took me to the dashboard directly. Now uh, let's install the plugin, which is contact form seven. You can use WP forms or uh, gravity forms, but uh, I prefer contact form seven because it's simple and easy and uh, it's also user friendly. So let's type contact form seven or just contact form. It is a high rank plugin. That is why it will come uh, on the top. So click on install now. Activate the plugin plus, go to pages and click on add new. I will build this plugin, uh, this page with Elementor, but first of all, uh, let me just show you how you can integrate the plugin directly in your page without Elementor. So let's say my name, my page name is contact us and the template will be full width Elementor or just leave the default template. Okay, now click on publish. And let's add this page to my menu. Click on templates, uh, sorry, appearance, come to menus and add the contact us page to the menu. So people can easily find this page within my website. Click on save menu. Now refresh your home page to see if the page is already in your menu. Yes, here we have this contact menu. If you go to this page, then you will find that this page is empty and you can edit it directly from here. Now we do not have to edit the page first. We just have to build our first contact form. So click on contact. Let's check if there are already uh, some forms. Uh, upon installation of this plugin, Contact Form 7 is already offering you a sample form. So you can use that or you can build a new one if you want. So let's, ju let's uh, just show me uh, how you can build your new contact form. Type in your contact form name. Let's type contact. And here you have some uh, basic fields like your name, your email address, your subject and your message. And finally, our submit button. All these things are short codes from the contact form plugin. Uh, you can use URL, telephone number, date, text area, drop down, checkbox, radio, almost every field uh, for the forms um, are available here. The method is let's just say uh, you have to add a new one. Let's copy this label and paste it below there and delete that short code. Uh, let's say we need phone number your phone and then click here and click on tell now uh, you can choose if this field is required um, without this 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 form should not be mm, submitted so it will add a static to the short code if you do not want to make it required then remove that type in the name phone dash number this will be the name of this field and the default value you can also add a default value let's say I add a number uh, so it will always be displayed um, as a default value but I will not use that let's add uh, a placeholder use this text as a placeholder and type in enter your phone number and you can give uh, an ID or an attribute, uh, class attribute. 
um, because sometimes we need IDs or classes to mm, add CSS or JavaScript to our input fields or if uh, any HTML tag. But actually, this short code is doing uh, exactly uh, like that. You, th this will generate the HTML tag. So let's click on insert. Now you have the idea how you can name this. We already have name. We have uh, the required attribute for text, email, the subject, name, email, and subject, and the message. Message is not uh, static, so it's not required. The telephone number is not required. And the placeholder can be added like this. So just copy this text and add it to all these fields. And let's change the placeholder, like enter your name and and here enter your email email address and enter your subject and this is pretty much each this this can be used on our page directly okay now click on save but uh, before going forward, let me show you how you can choose the sender, uh, the, the receiver's email. So click on mail. Uh, it will be to the site admin. It will be sent to the site admin directly. The site admin is the email address which is within the settings. Uh, general, click on general. And you have the email address entered there. So all the emails uh, added from the users uh, whenever someone type something on that uh, contact form and they click on submit the email address will directly come to this email address which is uh, the site admin email you can add a custom email address let's say we are adding abc at the rate xyz.com and click on save then the emails all the emails will go to this one but by default uh, we have the site admin email and it will go there now the from email this can be very you can change it to uh, anything you want like change this one and the site title will be uh, added site title is here mm, self study help so the site title will be added site title will be added to the subject as well and the reply email your email means this one this field uh, which which is in the form this is your email which is the name of this field you can add it to the mail section and uh, the reply or the auto reply will automatically go to that email now in message body we add name email address subject and now we have a new field called phone number so let's click here and copy the short code and in the message body type phone and add that short code so now all the users phone number will also be added to this form automatically you can remove this line this email was sent from uh, from the contact form on the site title in the site url you can remove that but uh, it is just to remind you from which website you have you received this email because um, sometimes people have more than one website so it's easy to remember from which um, uh, contact form you have this email. Now click on save. Uh, when you save it, uh, it will provide a short code right here. So just copy the short code and go to that contact page and edit this. Now we will use this short code to place that contact form 7 on this page. So in the body of the text, uh, whether it's visual or text just click here this is a classic editor you can also use Gutenberg and Gutenberg also have a block named shortcode uh, you can add that shortcode here you can just click on this add contact form and then uh, you can manage this but we will delete this and add our shortcode here which we just copied and click on update once the page is updated go to your front end and refresh the page and it will show you all the fields you added to the contact form here whenever user fill this form and click on submit this email will automatically be gone to that email address let me just show you name suhail phone number blah 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 
and your email address abc at xyz.com and the subject I need to know about your website and then your body blah 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 and click on submit and it will notify you whether the email is successfully sent or you have to try it again so uh, we have the notification that email is sent uh, let me show you uh, if I receive this within in my inbox now if I open my email and in inbox you can see self study help which is the site name the subject is self study help I need to know about your website which I just typed if we click and open this e this email then you can see from is my name and ABC XYZ which I entered the email address the subject I need to know about your website the phone number and the message body blah 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 and this email was sent from the contact from seven from self study help and my website URL so uh, this is how you can add a contact form 7 uh, or a contact us page in your WordPress website. Please let me know in the comments if you have any question and please subscribe to my channel and you will not miss any of my future videos. Thank you.